Hey folks, my guest today is Dr. Bourgeau. She obtained her Bachelor of Science degree from McGill University before returning to Ontario to study at the Northern Ontario School of Medicine. In 2011, she received her doctorate in medicine and then completed a five-year specialization in dermatology at Laval University. She co-founded Oral Health in 2020 to help with asynchronous telemedicine specializing in dermatology. Dr. Bourgeau, you ready to take us to the top? Yes, definitely. Thanks for the invitation. You bet. Okay. So how does a doctor learn to code to build a SaaS tool? (laughs) So the doctor doesn't learn to code. The doctor has an idea and then hires coders to to build a SaaS tool, basically. (laughs) Makes a lot of sense. Now, there's a lot of doctors that have these great ideas and they never know how to motivate, lead, or find someone to actually write the code. Tell me about how you got your MVP built. Yeah. So, so what happened was that in uh, 2017, uh, one of my uh, co-founders, uh, Dr. Dahri, who's another dermatologist, uh, him and his brother were having these discussions about how to uh, increase access for patients for dermatology. Um, so, you know, we, they had this idea. We decided to to bring it to the forefront and uh, use technology to increase access for patients. So uh, we hired a a small firm of of developers in Quebec City um, and we presented them with our idea and uh, we worked, uh, you know, for a few months uh, to develop our MVP, which is is called Dermago.ca. Interesting. Okay. Can I ask you how much you paid the the dev shop to get the MVP off the ground? Uh, How much did we pay? We probably paid about uh, 20,000 to... 30,000, uh, out of pocket just to, to get this MVP out. Yeah. And what year was that? 2017, 2017. Okay. Very cool. And then talk to me about today, Who, who's buying this technology and about how much are they paying per month to use it? Yeah. So, so basically what, what happened is that throughout, you know, once we released Dermago in 2018, we started doing consultations and that's pretty much how we paid for our tech is, uh, by, by seeing patients. Um, and, uh, we slowly, but surely increased the, the amount of volume of patients on our, on our, on our site. Um, and at the same time, we had other people, other physicians, uh, other clinics saying, Hey, we'd like to have a a tool, a a similar uh, white label tool for our clinics, uh, for our specialties. Uh, And when we created this, this uh, MVP, there was no, you know, plug and play sort of like the Shopify of, uh, of medicine that you could just, you know, uh, have a a clinic online within a few days, uh, based on your image, based on your colors, um, based on your specialty. So we decided to, to create oral health, uh, because of the success of Dermago to uh, provide this possibility for uh, other physicians and other healthcare professionals. Um, so that, that's who you're selling to. Yeah. So, so, so what we did is we took all the RIP from, from Dermago uh, and decided to, to create uh, the best dermatology platform uh, to be able to, to uh, offer it in different you know, jurisdictions, different countries for dermatology, but at the same time, concentrate on building a scalable platform that is white label and can be used by any other uh, specialty um, if they want to create their own uh, online clinic. And what do, what do these online clinics pay to use the technology per month on average? So uh, we were modelizing it actually. Uh, so we're still in the you know we just uh, raised a, a seed round uh, to to make this uh, to make this tech. So we you know we rebuilt the whole tech uh, and uh, we're we're we just uh, released our, our new platform in uh, at the end of November. Uh, so okay. we've migrated our old Dermago into this new platform, and now we're starting our commercialization plan to to go and uh, have new Dermagos uh, across the the world. Basically, we do have a a few announcements to make in the new year, uh, and also to a starter more or white label. Um, and, and so doctor, what was the size of the seed round? Uh, 3 million. 3 million. Okay. Wonderful. And, um, is it fair to say that you guys are pre-revenue in terms of the SAS model yeah. oral health? Yeah. Okay. I would say our, our major client right now is Dermaco. Um, and we also launched another uh, clinic, which is called Tontest.ca, uh, which is a, a virtual STI clinic. Uh, okay, so, so the derma the Dermago product, which really is seeing patients, making money off seeing patients. How much yeah. revenue did that did that do last year to help support the new software? Uh, we make about um, one hundred and fifty thousand dollars per month. Okay, got it. So that I mean, that's nice scale. Where you know now, did the investors respect that when you went out for the seed round? Did they give you credit for selling that much, even though it wasn't SaaS? Uh, so, so what happened is that, you know, because Dermago is a medical clinic, so Dermago is a medical clinic that uses the technology of Oro. So we do have an MSLA, a master license service agreement b- between our MVP and our new tech uh, company. Separate um, companies though. Separate companies. Ah. Um, 
And uh, so Dermago is definitely the biggest client of Oral Health uh, as of now. How much uh, does Dermago pay Oral Health? 50% of its revenue. Oh, wow. So seven, 70 grand a month, 75,000 bucks a month already on yeah. Oral Health. Yeah. So what we our, our modelization for, you know, dermatology and specialty clinics is that, um, you know, I mean, physicians are busy, they're be- busy seeing patients and they need to see patients. That's, you know, that's what they do, right? Uh, they don't do uh, coding, like you said, and they don't also do um, uh, Google AdWords or, or online marketing. Um, so what we offer is is a, a it's more of a pass but a business turnkey pass uh so you want to start a, dermato- a dermatology a clinic in texas well you come see me and we can plug and play we have you know, doctor that makes complete sense and it's your, your operating system for anyone that wants to launch this exactly. it's fantastic but just we'll just to be clear your, your your model is not going to be to take 50 percent of everyone's revenue signs up for you you just say that with dermago because you own that business and you want to give a sweetheart deal back to oral health is that right well, we do it with Dermago because uh, Oral Health also takes care of all the user acquisition. So we're going to uh, charge fifty percent on going to new customers that are not you. So it depends if they want us to do the user uh, acquisition and the ad buying. So that includes the ad buying, the tech. If they want to do a white label, you know, they're they're uh, in uh, the, you know their family medicine clinic and they want to also have an online presence, which we see that there's an increase in in these types of physicians with the pandemic. And our bet is that everyone's going to be online within the next few years. Uh, then they can be, you know, it can be a monthly. Uh, I more, see. More but one path. customer, one customer today, Dermago. Yep. Amazing. Okay. I love this story. And then there's uh, your test.ca, which is an STD clinic that we just launched uh, uh, a few months ago. So, but, but the way to think about oral health revenue today is 50% of derma goes, which is about $75,000 a month in revenue. Exactly. Amazing. Okay. So you raise a $3 million seed round. Most people are selling 10 to 20% of the business in those rounds. Did you do the same? It was around there. Around there. Yes. Okay. So talk call like 20 to $30 million post money valuation, something like that. We have a, uh, so evaluation is at, at 10 million uh, pre-money. 10 million. Okay. So 13 million posts. That's not, that's yeah. not horrible. Where are you going to use the money? So for the tech, so the acceleration of the tech, uh, and it's a hard time to hire uh, people in tech. So if uh, anyone needs a job, we're hiring. Uh, <laughs> and, there she, uh, there's the promoter. The doctor turns <laughs> the marketer. Exactly. Um, and we want to, uh, you know, push the commercialization. So we want to go into a, a series A uh, rapidly to, to just bring it to the next level in terms of a commercialization team. What's the team today? How many people? We're 17 now. How many Mostly engineers? Uh, eight. And are you still using that same original agency you used to do the MVP? No, it's all in-house. You, okay, why'd you make that decision? So we decided to, to really keep the, the tech in-house uh, and you know create, uh, because we do have a good environment for tech in Montreal. Um, yeah. So we have a lot of good candidates and we wanted to really build something that was uh, the highest security standards and, and something that would be, uh, you know, uh, our own uh, group. Um, so we 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 hired our CTO uh, Bruno Morel, which uh, he's been uh, with us since uh, last September, and he slowly but surely built his tech team uh, so that we have you know the best uh, uh, developers um, mixed with uh, some great data scientists so that we can uh, work together as a team. And Doctor, what's your go to market? I imagine you're eating your own dog food, so you can go speak at conferences for these people and say, by the way, I'm using my own software to build Dermago, which already does 175 grand a month in revenue. You should copy me, use my software. Is that sort of the, the go to market? Yes. And not only my software, but also my business intelligence that we've, you know, um, created over the last two, three years. So with our user acquisition and uh, with uh, how to, to basically organize their clinics so that they can make an extra uh, amount of revenue per month. I love this. Do you own 100% of the business before you raise? Are you the sole founder? Uh, we're three. Oh, three of you guys. Did you just split yeah. it 33 each? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't want to debate each other. Just said, you know what? We're all equal, 33 each. Exactly. All right. Fair enough. Uh, now you guys each own approximately like 27% each and the investor owns call it 10 to 15%. And you're thinking hard about what the Series A could look like. Exactly. Very cool. What, what do you think you need to do to go out and raise a competitive Series A? 
I think we need to demonstrate that. Well, we've already demonstrated that our MVP is successful. So, our, you know, there's a, there's a um, there's a product and there's a demand. Uh, now we need to to show how efficient our, our tech is, um, and we need to to show how um, you know we, we we haven't done any really trade shows or anything so far. Uh, so we've had a lot of people knocking on our door uh, without uh, like with basically trying to put the phone down so that we didn't have to answer because we didn't have a product. So now we have our product. Uh, uh, and I think, you know, uh, we do have a great plan for the next six months. And if we just, you know, stick to our plan and we make things happen the way they're supposed to happen, then uh, we're going to go straight into a great cool. series. A. I love this. All right, doctor, let's wrap up with the famous five. Number one, favorite book. Favorite book. Uh, whew, um, what can I- Man, um, we can the, skip it. If there's the, the crawl that uh, the, there's a how I, I don't remember it, but it's I, I love Reese Witherspoon's book club. So any book that she 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 suggests, I basically read one a week. So <laughs> I love that. Okay, number two, is there a CEO you're following or studying? Is there a CEO that I'm? I know that. Um, so one of our investors, uh, Alex from MCI, um, we we really respect him a lot. So uh, you know, he he really wants to bring a specific uh, tailored medicine to patients. Um, so we really uh, love what he's doing, and we keep following him. And doctor, what's your favorite online tool for building oral health? My favorite online tool, I would say my team's favorite tool is Slack, which I'm u- I'm, I'm learning, uh, but uh, I'm definitely learning in this process. It's not stuff that we learned in medical school, in medical school or, or residency. So I would say to keep in contact with all of my, my team throughout the day uh, would be Slack. Very cool. And uh, number four, how many hours of sleep do you get every night? I typically get at least seven. <laughs> That's great. And situation, married, single kids? I'm uh, married with two kids. Oh, wow. Busy. And do you mind me asking how old you are? I'm 36. 36. Last question. Take us home. Something you wish you knew when you were 20. Um, just keep going and great things are going to happen. It, you don't have to have a specific plan. You can change your mind. Uh, you, I started you know, in, in political science in school and I changed to, to science. Uh, so you just keep going with the flow and keep working hard and things are just going to happen. Guys, she hustled. She got her doctorate. She launched uh, her own uh, facility, Dermago, back a clinic back in 2017. Now does $150,000 a month in revenue and said, you know what? I need to build software so that anyone else can do what I just did. She's now built that, raised a $3 million seed round at a $13 million post money valuation to scale that up. 50% of the clinic's revenue goes to Oral Health, the software company. So the software company is already doing almost a million dollar run right now, looking to scale, add on additional people, 17 people on the team, eight full time engineers in house, got the MVP built with an outsourced dev shop for 20 grand. She's scrappy. I love it. Doctor, thanks for taking us to the top. Thank you very much. Have a good day. One more thing before you go. We have a brand new show every Thursday at 1 p.m. Central. It's called Shark Tank for SaaS. We call it Deal or Bust. One founder comes on, three hungry buyers, they try and do a deal live and the founder shares back-end dashboards, their expenses, their revenue, ARPU, CAC, LTV, you name it, they share it. And the buyers try and make a deal live. It is fun to watch every Thursday, 1 p.m. Central. Additionally, remember, these recorded founder interviews go live. We release them here on YouTube every day at 2 p.m. Central. To make sure you don't miss any of that, make sure you click the subscribe button below here on YouTube, the big red button, and then click the little bell notification to make sure you get notifications when we do go live. I wouldn't want you to miss breaking news in the SaaS world, whether it's an acquisition, a big fundraise, a big sale, a big profitability statement, or something else. I don't want you to miss it. Additionally, if you want to take this conversation deeper and further, we have by far the largest private Slack community for B2B SaaS founders. You want to get in there. We've probably talked about your tool if you're running a company or your firm if you're investing. You can go in there and quickly search and see what people are saying. Sign up for that at nathanlacka.com forward slash Slack. In the meantime, I'm hanging out with you here on YouTube. I'll be in the comments for the next 30 minutes. Feel free to let me know what you thought about this episode. And if you enjoyed it, click the thumbs up. We get a lot of haters that are mad at how aggressive I am on these shows, but I do it so that we can all learn. We have to counter those people. We got to push them away. Click the thumbs up below to counter them and know that I appreciate your guys' support. All right, I'll be in the comments. See ya.